So here in this box is a brand new special edition Star Wars Xbox 360 console that I bought from eBay. I'm pretty excited to open it up. I personally think it's the coolest looking 360 ever made. Uh, so let's see what they sent us. So it does look packaged pretty well. They have a lot of air pillows, got some bubble wrap around the console. Uh, so it looks pretty good. So here's the console box. I do think it arrived pretty well. It is a bit beat up, but I was fully aware of that when I bought it. Uh, as you can see, there's some, you know, some, uh, not punctures, but just kind of beat up around the edges. But I paid a little bit less than I would have if I got a perfect condition one, so I'm okay with it. And speaking of cost, I think I paid about $580 for this, which honestly is not too terrible compared to what these things go for sometimes. I saw an auction go for like seven or 800 right before I bought this one. But let's go ahead and check out this box and hit the nostalgia train. So 360, Connect Star Wars. Connect was awesome when it first came out. Uh, it kind of lost its touch after a while, but... Came with a Star Wars Connect game. Never played that. Comes with the white Connect. Comes with the Star Wars console, which is this real star of the show. That thing looks awesome. And then you have your C3PO controller, which is pretty cool too. And let's just kind of flip it around to the sides. Uh, top is pretty standard. Kind of beat up a little bit. Here on the side, we have what's included. So we have the console, as you can see, Connect sensor, wireless controller, 320 gigabyte hard drive, black headset, which is a piece of junk, but whatever. Connect Adventures and Star Wars game. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulations for the big three odor zones. Your body, your butt, and your balls. Now Manscaped took me up with a bunch of stuff from their Performance Package 4.0. Got it right here, so let's check it out. Now my favorite part of this package is the Lawnmower 4.0. It has an LED light and it's waterproof with advanced skin safe technology which reduces nicks and cuts on your most sensitive regions. Now let me give you a quick demonstration. Wow, look at that amazing mowing action. Also included in this package are two products I never knew I needed. You got the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, and you also have the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Now let me give you another demonstration. The Crop Preserver gives all day body odor protection, and the Crop Reviver is a spritz with cooling aloe vera to quickly refresh. And of course, you have to finish it off with the Weed Whacker. This wireless nose and ear hair trimmer features the same skin safe technology as the Lawnmower 4.0, so you don't have to worry about tugging or cutting. Now for a limited time only, you get all of this plus two free gifts. You get the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. So go to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use my promo code at checkout. But here's the cool R2D2 C3PO on the back and this side, basically the same thing, kind of showing these dudes playing the console or messing with the console. And then the coolest thing I think is on the bottom where it says do not sell before April 3rd, 2012. Which is interesting because I don't remember seeing dates like this on most consoles. Like most brand new consoles just have a seal. They don't actually sell, say do not sell before a certain date. I guess let's do the D. Let's go ahead and slice this thing open. Got that nice cut right there. It's kind of, it's kind of hard doing that on consoles like this. Um, you know, there's two different types of people. There's people that like to open it up and play and kind of keep the box and everything. And there's people that like to keep them sealed. Personally, I'm of the... The type where I like to I like to keep my stuff in good condition but I do like to open it up and play it and fully experience it if it just sits in a box I think it's just gonna rot away and um, you know I, I think most things there's a place for that but I think most things deserve to be opened up so here it is and I've never actually unboxed one of these consoles actually I've never even unboxed a brand new slim at all so here connect Star Wars I bet the game is in here and Xbox always does their unboxings pretty well now, let's see if we can get this open without tearing it boom so right in here we have our quick setup guide and we have oh is that a poster oh that's awesome same thing is showed on the side of the box so you guys see 3po and r2d2 kind of chilling with the console pretty neat here's the console let's go ahead and i guess take this out it's got some interesting foam here i've never seen foam pieces like this maybe they used them on all the three 360 slim consoles but usually it's like styrofoam this stuff is much better though i will say and here is the console man that thing looks sweet We'll put that to the side and we'll take a look at that in a second once we get everything else out of here. So here is the Star Wars Connect game. Um, it's cool that it comes in an actual case and not just like in a sleeve, like a lot of games do when they're included in bundles like this. We also have Connect Adventures, which is in the actual case. Cool to see. We have a couple more things in here. Don't miss out, save big on the Halo issue Xbox magazine. I don't even know if the Xbox magazine uh, exists anymore. Like, does anybody, does anybody even get magazines anymore? I used to love magazines back when I was a kid because it was, I didn't have like a device to surf the internet. So magazines was the way to look at cool stuff. That appears to be the power brick. And of course, we'll take that out in a little bit to test out this console. That's another thing to point out is that I'm excited to see which dashboard this console is on. Obviously, it's going to be on whatever console dashboard they had in 2012. I don't know. It might be the NXC or it might have, they actually might have already moved on in 2012 to the latest dashboard or, or a version of it, which is kind of sad. I'm a huge fan of the, 
a dashboard the early dashboards like the the blades and the nxe but it is what it is we'll we'll check it out when it when we turn it on and then here is the connect well, last but not least actually we have not gotten the controller yet but here's connect anyway so it's pretty cool to see a white version of the connect i'm not sure if this is the only one that was white version but you know the standard one was black oh that's our headset all right yeah like i said this thing is a piece of junk don't use it. Hey, so I just wanted to pause real quick and tell you guys that you should check out my website. It's called jrobgaming.com. The link will be down below. Uh, I sell video games and consoles. I also buy video games and consoles, and I have a new mystery discount code every single day if you sign up for my newsletter. Uh, so if you're looking to buy or sell, go ahead and check it out. There is the controller down here. So let's go ahead and start taking stuff out of the packaging and checking this out. And I think I might keep this as my personal 360 now because I'm, I love the look at this console. It makes a cool noise when you turn it on too, which we'll check it out. And here it is. So that thing looks pretty cool. It's nice and shiny gold. Um, actually has some cool joysticks as well. Let me zoom in on it so you can so I can show you. It might be a little hard to see because my camera likes to focus on the the glossy glare of the gold. But as you can tell, the uh, joysticks look a bit more like the Xbox One joysticks rather than the uh, original 360, where it had like the four dots on it. This does not. It has like the circular ring. But it's a very cool controller and you even have like the c3po uh, wires down here which is pretty a pretty nice touch so i'm putting the uh, box away and frankly i'll probably put the uh <laughs> this headset away too because like i said it's a piece of crap i'm just gonna leave it in the packaging because why not and to be honest a couple other things i'll probably leave in the packaging is connect adventures and star wars game i might open up the star wars game i don't know i don't know if those games are worth anything brand new or not connect games honestly don't go for much nowadays but i'll check it out so this is what we're all here for the uh, star wars console let's go ahead and unwrap this bad boy and take a look i don't want to rip the packaging so i'm going to try to carefully take this tape off and here's the console and man that is a beauty so taking a look at this thing it is a nice i'm a huge fan of the matte console so it's not easy to scratch up and it's such a cool design let me flip it around so you can see it in all its glory uh just kind of some some cool star wars graphics to it, it says star wars here some other cool graphics and if you run your hand across you can you can feel it it's just like got a different texture on the graphic portions i don't know just kind of kind of cool and then if you look here on the front you have some more nods to star wars you have R2, r2d2's red light and his like black dot um and kind of just some the design kind of looks like r2d2 which is the whole point point. and when you turn the console on it makes like an r2d2 sound i'm pretty sure and then same when you turn it off and it makes another noise when you open up the disk drive as well we'll check that out in a little bit and then it's always interesting how they have the do not move console with disk and tray i think when the 360 originally came out people used to move it around and it would scratch up the disk I don't know why anybody would move their console around while the game is playing, but obviously some people did. Bottom looks pretty cool as well, just some more more graphics that are pretty cool. Then we'll take a look at this, the back here. Oh, that's interesting. The uh, sticker right there is peeling up a little bit. It's almost like it was not placed correctly because it's not all the way at the corner there, but it's kind of overlapping down there. That's weird. And then even the uh, warranty sticker is kind of misaligned. So I haven't had my hands on enough slim consoles to know if that's an issue or not where like these stickers are actually misaligned, but... That's just something interesting to point out. And then, of course, we have our three USB ports. We have our port for the Connect to Connect 2. We have our Ethernet jack, um, HDMI, AV. We have our audio, um, optical audio output, and then our power. And here on the side, it's pretty standard. It is cool how they hide the disk drive, or not the disk drive, the uh, hard drive here. So as you can see, it's 320 gigs, which is a pretty good amount of memory for the uh, 360. But I mean, this thing is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and plug it in and try it out. So I have everything plugged in, and a couple of things I want to point out. So I noticed this thing only comes on the AV cable, does not come with HDMI, which is pretty interesting since this came out in 2012. HDMI is prevalent by then, I don't know. The other thing that's kind of funny is the batteries are completely corroded. Um, the bottom of one was actually completely came off, which makes sense. I mean, these batteries have been sitting here for, you know, 10 years. It says March 2018 on them, so uh, not surprising, but I just wasn't expecting it when I opened the batteries up. And that's kind of what fell out on, on into my hands. But uh, yeah, this console is pretty cool. And I'm excited to turn this on and show you guys the uh, sound that it makes. So let me go ahead and flip my microphone around and let me turn this thing on. It's a pretty sweet noise. It's even got the blue lights. And here is our boot up screen. I'm interested to see which dashboard we're on. Pretty sure it's going to be one of the most recent ones. Yeah, it looks pretty recent. But let's go ahead and turn this controller on. So like you saw, the controller is pretty neat as well. I haven't taken the sticker off right here, but I'll, I'll leave that on for now. Let's go ahead and get this booted up. <laughs> All right, so it wants me to uh, connect, connect, but I'm not going to do that right now. All right, so here we are, and this is the NXE dashboard. Let's go. Nice. I was hoping we were on one of these older dashboards. This is 
one of my favorites. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can figure out which exact version it is. Actually, first let me show the console a little bit more and then I'll plug in my Elgato so we can get a bit better look at what we're seeing on the screen. Let's go ahead and see what our what it sounds like when you do the eject button. Whoops. So I didn't notice at first I actually need to take the sticker off or else the disk drive gets stuck when it's trying to open. And the other cool thing is it actually has a little saying on the disk drive when you open it up. Uh, it says, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. So that's like a classic line from I think one of the first movies. Man, those noises never get old. Now let me show you the noise it makes when you turn it off. So I mean, as you can see, it's all R2-D2 noises, uh, all pretty neat. Now let me go ahead and plug my Elgato in and we'll boot this thing up again and take a closer look. So for nostalgic purposes, I plugged in my Kinect and turned it on. As you can see here, it's pretty, I, I like the glossy white, it's pretty cool. But uh, it came up with this update required pop up on the screen because I plugged it in and that's gonna be a hard no for me, dog. I mean, I don't know what it's gonna update me to, but I do not wanna update. All right, so we're back, got the classic NXE dashboard. Uh, we have our classic player one up in the right hand corner with the uh, dragon. Oh man, 291 gigs free. And the first thing I wanna do is check which version this is on. So system info, we're on 2.0.13599.0. So let me look that up real quick. So I did a little bit of digging and it appears that this dashboard came out or this update came out in July of 2011. I think it was the last update before it changed to Metro. So we are still on the NXC, but technically you could use Connect on this because Connect came out in like 2010. Uh, but for some reason, this specific Connect needs to be updated, which I'm not gonna do. But we're back on the main dashboard now. Let's kind of go ahead and take a look through this and just kind of relive the past. So my Xbox, you can open your tray, player one, Connect Hub, wireless game library, video library, music library, all that good stuff. The system settings never really changed from um, the original 360 dashboard to now looks about the same it is always so i've bought i've done a lot of videos in the past where i've bought in 360s from ebay from goodwill all that good stuff and my favorite thing is to turn the 360 on and see which dashboard it's on and then kind of see what people's profiles were like what games they played obviously here we see nothing because this one's never been booted up before but it's it's always really cool to look at old uh, consoles and see that let's go ahead and open up this tray though and we'll put a game in and and hopefully it still works so I'm not actually going to put in one of the new games that came into the package. I'm going to leave those sealed. I'm going to put in Call of Troops 2K8, which when I first bought it, 15 bucks from GameStop ages ago. I don't know how much it goes for now, but it goes for a lot more. And I think it's actually in my other 360 right now. So let me go ahead and find a different game. So another one of my favorites, we got Just Cause 2. And I, I was kind of sleuthing through my games, trying to make sure I found a game that was before 2011. Because I don't want to uh, put a game in and then have it automatically update for me. So this game is from 2010, I believe, and hopefully it boots up without trying to uh, update the console. And man, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I put so many hours into this. Uh, actually, before I bought the game, I played the demo for like days. I don't know, the demo is just awesome because you could venture around the demo area and use your grapple hook and all that good stuff. Such a fun game. Just Cause 3 was good too. Just Cause 4 is, uh, I don't know, like questionable. But yeah, let me know down below what your favorite 360 game of all time is. And also let me know what your favorite 360 console of all time is. Because there's so many different variations. So the game is clearly working. I want to kind of take you through this Xbox guide as well. Just re relive, some, uh, re relive some good times. So get your marketplace tab. You got your games tab where you can see your achievements, awards, quick launch, game library. Um, of course, you can go back to the dashboard. Uh, you got your music center, which is pretty cool. You could load up music and kind of play it in the background while you're playing games. And of course your settings. And it's always cool to see old games and their graphics because I remember back when I played this game, I was like, man, these graphics are amazing. But now looking at them, they're obviously very subpar since we have the Series X, the PS5 now, which have amazing graphics. Um, and obviously it's just gonna keep getting better. So yeah, I'm gonna go, ahead and back, go back to the dashboard. You guys didn't watch this to see Just Cause 2 gameplay. But yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty sweet. I'm glad I bought it. And so thanks for watching, guys. Hope this took you down memory lane. I know it does when I, when I make videos like this. Let me know what you think down below and have a great day.